Hi, it's Matthew Reed here from how to repair pendulum clocks.co.uk. Back in video five on this channel, uh, we talked about letting the power off a mainspring in a controlled and safe manner. In that video, we used a homemade let down tool, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make one. Let down tools are available commercially in sets and here is one and it's very smart. You can see there are six double ended arbors here that give you a whole range of sizes. Now, of course, for the beginner, the obstacle here might be cost, of course, and also maybe you don't want to invest just yet in that set of tools if you're not sure how many clocks you're going to repair. In this video, I show you how to make the tool out of a dowel, or in this case, a file handle, and a star key or clock winding key. The star key here, I think, makes a really great donor for the beginnings of a let down set. You normally get these keys in pairs. One has got odd and one has got even sized holes. And you can see this one has got five different sized winding squares in one. Now, personally, I never use these star keys for winding a clock and definitely not for letting down the power. That's going to end in disaster. And the reason I don't use them for winding a clock is because you never quite know which square goes on which clock. So you have to try uh, a few before you get the right fit. And secondly, because of the other keys kind of sticking out, they often uh, touch on parts such as the hands or in this case the center arbor, or they might even scratch the clock dial. So for me, star keys are no go as a winding tool, but they make a great donor for the letdown tool. We could also use a new key that fits the winding arbor. In this case, you can see that's about 3.5 millimeters across flats. So when we look at our star key and our clock winding key, we can see there are little dimples in one side. Now these are not rivets that run the whole way through. Sometimes uh, keys have a, a brass rivet that runs the whole way through, but in this case, um, it's just a little dimple. So we can drill that little dimple out. And then once we've done that, we can knock the cylindrical part of the key from the body of the key. That process has given us five good key shanks from which we can begin to make our let down tool set. Now the next thing you'll need is a file handle. I've talked about this Python brand of file handles before uh, in one of my videos. Uh, you could just use a dowel of wood, particularly if you've got access to a lathe and you can drill the dowel concentrically. The beauty of uh, using a file handle is it's pre drilled so that helps with concentricity. So first thing I'm going to do is to take the key shank that fits the winding square then I'm going to just file on a small taper which will allow it to be inserted into the file handle a bit easier. I've also draw filed the shank here just to make it look a bit smarter but that's just for aesthetic. Once I've done that, I'm going to find a drill that's about 0.2 of a millimetre undersized for the uh, brass shank because I want it to be a good tight fit in the hole. I'm going to check how deep I want the drill to be and fit a bit of uh, masking tape as a depth gauge. Once I've drilled out the file handle, I can tap the key shank into the handle and you can see it's quite a good fit already. And then we cross drill through the file handle, through the key shank and out of the other side. Once we've done that, I'm going to use a clockmaker's brooch. You don't have to do this stage to check that everything's in line. And then file a piece of hard brass wire to a very slight taper, tap it in cut it off with a jeweler's saw and there we are. We have our homemade clock letdown tool. This process, making a mainspring letdown tool, is described in Appendix 2 of our brand new book, How to Repair Pendulum Clocks, Volume 1, A Step-by-Step -step Guide. 
for the beginner. I hope that's helpful. Using a mainspring letdown tool is really much safer than using the clock's own key to let the power off the spring. Thank you. Please remember to like and subscribe and we will see you later.